the observance of 5th November Act, 1605, by the Parliament of England. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Michael Maggs. An Act for a Public Thanksgiving to Almighty God, every year, on the fifth day of November. For as much as Almighty God hath in all ages showed his power and mercy in the miraculous and gracious deliverance of his church and in the protection of religious kings and states, and that no nation of the earth has been blessed with greater benefits than this kingdom now enjoyeth, having the true and free profession of the gospel under our most gracious sovereign, Lord King James, the most great, learned, and religious king that ever reigned therein, enriched with a most hopeful and plentiful progeny proceeding out of his royal loins, promising continuance of this happiness and profession to all posterity. The which many malignant and devilish papists, Jesuits, and seminary priests, much envying and fearing, conspired most horribly when the King's most excellent majesty, the Queen, the Prince, and all the Lords, spiritual and temporal, and commons, should have been assembled in the Upper House of Parliament on the fifth day of November, in the year of our Lord, 1605, suddenly to have blown up the said whole house with gunpowder, an invention so inhumane, barbarous, and cruel as the like was never before heard of, and was, as some of the principal conspirators thereof confess, purposefully devised and concluded to be done in the said house, that where sundry necessary and religious laws for preservation of church and state were made, which they falsely and slanderously term cruel laws, enacted against them and their religion, both place and persons should all be destroyed and blown up at once, which would have turned to the utter ruin of this whole kingdom, had it not pleased Almighty God by inspiring the King's most excellent majesty with a divine spirit, to interpret some dark phrases of a letter showed to his majesty, above and beyond all ordinary construction, thereby miraculously discovering this hidden treason not many hours before the appointed time for the execution thereof. Therefore the King's most excellent majesty, the Lord's spiritual and temporal, and all his majesty's faithful and loving subjects, to most justly acknowledge this great and infinite blessing to have proceeded merely from God his great mercy, and to his most holy name to ascribe all the honour, glory, and praise. And to the end this unfeigned thankfulness may never be forgotten, but be had in a perpetual remembrance that all ages to come may yield praises to his divine majesty for the same, and have in memory this joyful day of deliverance. Thanks to be given in every church yearly. 2. Be it therefore enacted by the King's most excellent majesty, the Lord's spiritual and temporal, and the commons, in this present Parliament assembled, and by the authority of the same, that all and singular ministers in every cathedral and parish church, or other usual place for common prayer within this realm of England, and the dominions of the same, shall always, upon the fifth day of November, say morning prayer, and give unto Almighty God thanks for this most happy deliverance, and that all and every person and persons inhabiting within this realm of England and the dominions of the same, shall always upon that day diligently and faithfully resort to the parish church or chapel accustomed, 
or to some usual church or chapel, where the said morning prayer, preaching, or other service of God shall be used, and then and there to abide orderly and soberly during the time of the said prayers, preaching, or other service of God, there to be used and ministered. The minister to give warning of the day the Sunday before. 3. And because all and every person may be put in mind of this duty, and be then better prepared to the said holy service, be it enacted by the authority aforesaid, that every minister shall give warning to his parishioners publicly in the church at morning prayer, the Sunday before every such fifth day of November, for the due observation of the said day, and that after morning prayer or preaching upon the said fifth day of November, they read publicly, distinctly and plainly this present act. End of The Observance of 5th November Act, 1605